So the question is, what does this all mean for the economy next year? Well, joining us now, a frequent guest here, an economist. Bloomberg ranks as one of the most accurate. He's John Herman. He's the senior fixed income strategist at State Street Global Advisors. John, good to have you here. It's great to be back. <laughs> I know it's been a crazy, crazy year. Yeah. You've had some great calls. I've given you a hard time you. when you were bullish, when you were bearish. Um, where do we go from here? Okay, well, we have to just uh, take a deep breath and just look at the, uh, the world where we are now and then where we're going. And right now for the fourth quarter, we have consumer spending growing 4.5%, possibly better fourth quarter. Very, very strong uh, you know, momentum coming out of the consumer sector. Business profits very, very good for the fourth quarter as well. Business is a little bit cautious mm. with CapEx spending and with inventories, we think, in the fourth quarter. But that paves the way for good rebound, good turn up in the first half of this year. So we think we first can half of 2011. 2011. We think we get good momentum coming out of the blocks with both business spending, inventories, uh, that kind of thing. And then, you know, consumers should be able to carry the show, I think, over the good portion of next year. And the real key is going to be, for example, with, uh, with the non-farm payrolls. If we grow payrolls 150,000 a month, then I think we're looking at 3.5% growth. I think if, if businesses just get a little bit uh, more, uh, you know, increase their risk appetites a little bit right. more, then I think we're looking at, you know, job growth towards the second half of the year, maybe 200,000, and, and, and that means 4% growth. We bring you on because you're great at forecasting. Thank you're you. talking about if this happens, if this happens. I know. How likely is it that it plays out like you're saying right now? Okay, I th I'm, feel I'm feeling very confident right now. First uh, you know, first half of the year is, gonna, I think, going to be really pretty solid. Businesses are, have gotten offsides with the pace of consumer spending. They're behind the curve in terms of inventories with motor vehicles. That means we get a big ramp in ISM. ISM should go back up to 60. It's currently at 56.6. Right. We should get back Back to 60 by the end of the first quarter. Uh, we, start, we start seeing motor vehicle inventories pick up. We start seeing inventories more generally through the system pick up. The emerging markets are still strong. Our exports are going to be still good. So everything's and great. Everything is not, you know, we all, we, all, well, we all know we have the problems. We have the well, problems. State and local governments still have problems. We know it, the it, housing market's still well, a problem. Let me ask you about the state and local governments. You know, Meredith Whitney went on 60 Minutes. She caused quite a stir. There are people debating whether or not she's right. She has made some good calls. I mean, do you think she's overstating that problem and the possible impact on the economy. Well, you know, uh, our, our standpoint would be, uh, you know, the spreads on municipal bonds should start widening out to, to because we're only going to do so much with respect to federal government assistance to the to the state government. Right. You know, we, we have to sort of wean them over the next year or two. We're going to provide the aid. We have to start weaning them off the bottle, so to speak, for uh, after the next year, year and a half. And then the state governments are going to be more or less on their own. And I think that's when you start to see more rapid adjustment that Meredith may be pointing out. But for the next year, year and a half, I think we're in pretty good shape. Problems in Europe, we know that there's problems over the, overseas, but in general, we have really good momentum here, very strong profits, uh, very high labor productivity, ISM ramping back right. up. So all this is, uh, is good for the short term, I think. I keep saying this over and over again, psychology is so important to the outlook here. Absolutely. I mean, you mentioned Europe, and you kind of shrugged it off a little bit. I yeah. mean, can we afford to shrug it off? We had a, a guest earlier this week who talked about it being the subprime crisis being kind of the open Opening act, opening act, if you will, to the to the financial crisis in Europe. So he's pretty worried about it. Can we afford to shrug I mean, it off? You know, here's the thing. I, you know, I don't want to be too cavalier with that, but here, here's the deal. Europe does have uh, structures and institutions that are really trying to solve those problems. IMF is standing in the background as well, mm -hmm. and they have to really step up. They can't be passive. They can't be, uh, you know, la they can't lack aggressiveness. They have to be more forceful. But those, you know, if, if they are not, clearly that's going to be downside risk for the global economy, for the U.S. economy. But I think in general, we come out of the blocks pretty solid. Uh, first half of this year, and I think we'll actually gain momentum into the second half. And you know, uh, we so could be greater looking at, growth in the second half. I economic think, uh, growth. You know, I think you know people might be surprised. I think you know this this past year we were, we were very bullish on back to school sales. This and and for holiday sales. Right. And the holiday sales blew people out of the water this year. And we're we're going to look ahead, and we're going to be thinking again uh, with any kind of decent job gains in the first half, decent anywhere from 130, 150. I think we're going to be looking at very good back to school sales in July, August, and that would mean very strong end-of-year sales as well. Just got a few seconds left here. What about the rate environment? We still think rates are going up. Uh, you know, we've had we had a good call, rates going down. Uh, now our view has been for the last few months, rates going up. And we think the 10-year yield could go up to 4% uh, over the next four or five months. I think people are going to be offsides just how quickly we come out of the blocks. So the Fed does start raising rates as well? Don't look for the Fed to be raising no. rates. Ben Bernanke is our boy. He's going to be sitting there. <laughs> you know, he's going to be very dovish way through this year into the first half of 2012. Very wow. dovish. 
Carol, a long Extremely time. Extremely dovish fed. John Herman, you have a great new year. You too, Carol. It's great to see you again. Great to see you. John Herman, everybody.